Hello, everybody. This is Elliot from ETJ English. How are you all doing today? It's great to see you again. Now, today's English lesson is a little bit more about the way we speak. Okay, I want us to sound as much like a native as we possibly can. And now, myself being a native English teacher and also specialising in the way we speak, I think that I should be able to help you with some of these tips today. Okay, so what we're talking about is connected speech. And this connected speech, this is just the basics, but it's still an advanced lesson, okay? So with connected speech, you don't really want to learn this until, you know, you're pretty good at conversational English. Now, a lot of speakers, they sound a bit like robots when they speak. And that's fine, you know? That's because you haven't learned how to connect your English yet, to sound more like a native. And what I'm going to do is teach you the basics of this, to sound more like a native when we're asking very common questions or answering very common questions in daily life, okay? So this is just the part one. I'm going to be creating um, some future lessons about connected speech, and it's going to get a little bit more difficult. So let's learn the basics right now about connected speech. So first of all, I want to tell you that we're not going to sound like the Queen, okay? I don't teach that. I don't teach posh English. I teach what I like to call normal English, the type of English you would hear, let's say, 80% to 90% of the time that you're here. Now, I have a more southern accent. People in the north will sound very different to me, but we all do use this schwa sound. I've talked about the schwa sound in a previous lesson, and now I'm going to be talking about how we use it to connect our speech. So I'd like to ask you a quick question, I think. Now think about how I say this question, then I'm going to slow it down, and then I'm going to teach you how to sound like me. What's your name? What's your name? Now did you notice the way that I asked that question? It almost became one word, this group of words became almost one word. And the reason why we do this is because um, if you want, you can call us native speakers quite lazy. We like to connect our words and let things out quickly. When we're talking fast, asking normal questions, it sounds very normal to us if we connect our words. So the word you often becomes ya. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Now remember the intonation in this, how I'm asking my question as well. What's your name? Okay, we need it to sound like a question. Intonation in questions is something else I'm going to explain in a different video. Today we're just focusing on this connected speech. So just think about how it becomes from what's your name to what's your name. Now to practice this, practice going what's your, what's your, what's your name? And if you can't do that, practice going, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Keep going faster, okay? So let me ask you another question. What do you do? What do you do? So now we've kind of got like a do, do ya, do ya. Once again, the you becomes a schwa. So is this a common trend that's starting to happen now? Yes, it is. Changed. The, the, the U is starting to change. It's, it's adding a schwa sound because the schwa is our British sound. Americans won't really use this schwa. They would probably say, what's your name? Or we say, what's your name? What do you do? Okay. So think about that. If you want to sound British, the schwa is your friend and you have to learn it. Let's practice this one. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. What do you do? And the question, what do you do, if you didn't know, it means what do you do for a living? Do you work? Do you go to uh, school? Do you study? And it's a very, very, very common small talk question that we'd be asked maybe at the start of a conversation when we meet somebody. So let's just go through a few more really quickly. Notice the schwa sound. Notice how I make this sound. And let's see if you can do it too. Practice with me. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Or we could say, why did you do that? 
but there's a lot of d, d why did you do that you know there's a lot of d's so let's probably stick with the why did you do that so it almost is like a j j why did you do that why did you do that you see so we can play around with this, um, but these are the kind of basics of it. And you'll pick up most of this, okay, you will pick up most of this if you watch TV, if you listen to the news, if you listen to people speaking English, okay, because it's so common, this kind of you becoming a schwa. And that's the basics of what I'm teaching today. We will move on to the more advanced stuff in the future. This is just the beginning. I want to talk about one phrase that has way too many T's in it, and it's a question. What do you want to do today? What do you want to do today? Why don't we just make it a bit more natural and easier? What do you want to do today? What do you want to do today? What do you want to do today? You see how we've linked a lot of different words there, added a schwa in there, and it sounds perfect, okay? It sounds British, and that's what we want. Not, what do you want to do today? Too many t t t t t you know? We want to make that schwa, we want to make it sound beautiful and British. That's that for you. If you have already written down these phrases so you can practice them, good. If not, I recommend you, you watch the video again and write down all of these phrases. Practice using them, practice doing it, and this will really make your speech sound more British. Because I know some of you really want to sound British and you really want to improve your intonation, okay? And this is the way to work it. If you want to sound more natural when you speak and less like a robot, then you want to connect your speech, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget, if you want to book a Skype lesson with me, just go and go into the description box below and click the link, and I can help you improve your English speaking today. Or if you want to pass the IELTS exam, I can help you with that too. Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a big thumbs up. The more thumbs up we get, the more likely I'll do a part two of this connected speech. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. And I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye.